hey hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is harika so uh, in today's video i'm going to show you how we can actually do uh, email automation using robocop so for that i'm going to just take a notepad so actually uh, the main reason for doing this video is um, i just got a question in linkedin asking a scenario uh, for the, which they were facing difficulty so in order to solve that i have come up with this particular thing so in order to make you understand that you should have a minimum basic knowledge on how we can actually do the email automation and what are the libraries that we need for this particular automation so um, i'm here starting everything right from the scratch um, um, but before to that, I'll just explain you the scenario what we are heading to in the future videos. So firstly, uh, the requirement is something like there's an Excel. In that particular Excel, we have different sheets. Let's say sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three, or something like you know uh, Harika and uh, and then Monica and then Rachel, something of that sort. Okay. So different sheets have the names of different people. So the requirement is something like. The, uh, whenever we're sending the mail to Harika, um, we have to send only the sheet that is there with the sheet name, specific sheet name. Okay. So let's say if, if you wanted to send the Harika sheet details in the Harika sheet, that needs to be sent uh, to Harika do, uh, Harika's mail ID. Okay. Harika dot whatever. Okay. That mail ID you need to send it to. So similarly, you have to attach the appropriate sheet to that particular person so that's the requirement so in the future videos we will be going to see how this can be done uh, using robocop but mainly uh, in the to make you understand that first let's start with email automation okay so i'm going to tell about how we can actually do email automation using robocop so if you are um, new to my channel and if you're new to your uh, robocop then definitely you should watch the previous video so let me show you how you can actually hit there um so just go over here and just type in my channel name and you can just see videos on the on my youtube channel which are specific to robocop so under 11 certification which is a playlist over there so you can just come over here under playlist you can find there are nine videos already there in the level one okay so just go over here you can find all the videos for robocop okay let me just show you so right from the installation till how you can do the level one certification everything is there so just go and get some acquaintance with the studio and also how you can actually um you know uh perform uh and code using robocop okay so without any ado let's get into the video and see how we can actually do the email automation so for that i actually have the code with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file um let me just take a new window again so I'm going to take a new one. Mm, let me check if I have something already. Mm, email automation is there. I don't have anything in it. So if you know uh, how you can head to this part, you just have to go create a robot and uh, select the framework and also that particular workspace folder so that everything is clearly explained in the previous videos. Please do watch them and also I'll give the link in the description. Check it out. So you will be here. So for which um, I'm going to firstly use this particular, uh, you know, libraries and all. So I don't need everything here, but I'll just copy a little bit of it um, just to show you how we can actually understand this whole thing. Okay, so I am not going to scare you up with everything now. I'll just use whatever is needed. Okay. Um, okay, these and all are not needed right now. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, so, um, indentation is very important here. Uh, dictionary 
this we are not using dictionary so i'll directly take this recipient let me let me explain you the code don't worry about it right now okay this also i'm not going to use okay i think this looks cool um undefined keyword okay we have the library in place um so i just added the documentation here uh, sorry the settings over here so the settings contains the library okay so firstly let me just explain you what we are doing over here um in order to send the mail we are using here the smtp server and the smtp port which are very essential uh, for this action so basically smtp is nothing but simple mail transfer protocol so we are using them and we are sending the mail okay so this particular library is something that has this function okay so let's say authorize is something that's a method which needs if you see here if i hover on it it needs an account it needs a password uh, and it it's gonna take the SMTP server and SMTP port information from the library that we have provided and also it needs um, the message the message whatever the message that we need to send so here if you just scroll a bit we can see we can see the information here so after that we are sending the message okay whatever the message that needs to be sent here and then we are sending um, so this contains the send message uh, uh, function needs it needs a sender okay to whom you have to send uh, and then the, we it needs whatever the attachments that we are giving over and need the recipient to whom we are sending and the subject in the body of that particular mail so this is quite simple we are just using only authorize and send message which contains all these parameters inside it and if you see here we are not using the specific values but we are using the variables which were declared here okay so let's come to the variables so here i'm using the username and the password as a my mail id for my my mail id and the recipient also i want uh, to be sent to my mail account okay and here if you see the password um i have this is a app password it's not the password that which i use to log in into my account so this is the app password so if you are not sure why we are using app password it's something uh if you have a two-step verification then you cannot log in into application without uh giving the uh you know otp or something of that kind so in those cases you need app password for a single step login okay so uh if you're not sure how you can get an app password let me just show you that so go to your mail id so this is basically the documentation page official documentation page so i'm gonna uh, link this one as well in the description let me just okay i'll uh, give this in the description so that you can just directly go to this page and copy this code which will help you uh, to you know to to do uh, much more customizations as per your need okay so in order to get the app password just go to your page go to manage google account so this should be your google account and under security go to uh, signing into google okay here you can see app password so right now i have two passwords just click on it so you need to log in here let me just uh, pause the recording for a while before i log in so here i am i have logged in into my account uh, so it's very simple how you can generate a app app password is i've already used uh, two one is for robocop and another one is for ui path so you can just uh, select that particular app let's say you can customize a uh, demo app password okay demo app password and okay so once after that's done so first select the device okay and then give the name demo app password after that click on generate you can see the password okay just copy this information okay and then come over here and you just have to give it over here so don't use this one because i am going to delete that password anyway so it, it's not going to work for you so generate the password for yourself for your particular mail account and it's going to work okay so that's how it will be uh once if you don't want you can just delete from here okay
uh so this is the app password for my account and this is my account so it's very clear right you have you need the library and the library contains these two methods which we need in order to automate the gmail and we are sending username password which is the app password and the recipient and the subject in the body so this is how you can actually automate uh gmail using robocop so i'm gonna uh, actually run this workflow and i will show you how you can uh, you know see the output i'm gonna do control shift p and run robot control shift p is for command palette okay so try to memorize the key keyboard shortcuts as much as possible in order to increase the speed of your automation so we can see that the process has started running so send email and uh, one passed so i should be getting an email with this message generated by robert and this is the body of the email so let's go and check so yes here it is this is the body of the email right so this is how you can actually do email automation so in the coming videos i'm going to show you how we can send the attachment multiple attachments and images and all these different concepts before i actually head to the scenario okay so uh, meanwhile if you wanted to try the scenario as well it's very simple i'm gonna just iterate for you one more time so the excel contains different sheets in order to uh, send uh, that particular sheet to the particular uh, mail id concerned to that person so that's the whole idea uh, if you wanted to give it a try you can give it a try before i actually release the video that would be quite interesting um, and also we can cross check with the different approaches uh, to the solution okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video if you like the video please do like and share with your friends and for more such interesting content do subscribe to my channel and do comment okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you bye